Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jen and Christian's with me and so is the Bulldog. Bulldog. And we are here to do some celebrations again. We're celebrating Evil Stevel's Road to 300 contest. And he's got some questions, we've got some answers, so let's get jump into it. So, Evil Stevel. Evil Stevel. I, I, I communicate mostly with him through Facebook mm -hmm. and stuff, but I do enjoy his actual YouTube content. Very cool guy, very mellow guy, very kind guy. I've popped into a few of his live streams and uh, they've been good background noise. Yeah, yeah, very cool guy, knows his horror just like everybody else, and he's always supporting other YouTubers, which is uh, something I really think is cool. Absolutely. I like that, you know, the com camaraderie, I cannot talk, cor cor Camaraderie. Yeah, camaraderie uh, that, that he has with everybody. He's been a good friend to our channel. He's been a good friend to many channels. So uh, we definitely wanted to help him uh, to celebrate 300 is a hell of a good milestone. And I have a feeling you'll be back to do another contest at your thousands really quickly. So uh, you have, he has some questions. Three we have questions. What Favorite are polite insult. Polite insult? Polite insult. I guess friendly insult? I don't know. Okay, uh, uh, I would, I usually tell you to go fuck yourself. You do tell me to go fuck myself a lot. In a loving mother way. Uh, -huh. yeah. uh yeah, yeah, I, I, Christian and I insult each other all the time and it's just a playful thing of a jigger. And, and some of the other horror YouTubers, if I'm really comfortable around, I'll tell them to go fuck themselves too. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, so I guess I'm gonna say, I don't know if it's exactly polite, but I will say, go fuck Fuck yourself. Uh, go fuck your mother. That's what I usually tell people. That's a very Freudian kind of slip. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. No, no, I don't know. I usually tell it to you, but no. you know, you know, other people. Yeah, I usually tell them go fuck your mother in a, <laughs> in a loving way. Lovingly, go fuck your mother. Lovingly. Well, that was that was an interesting question. What's the next one? Uh, what horror franchise is kind of a two-parter? Do you wish would wish would end, and which do you wish would have a big revival? Um, I really don't have any franchises. I guess it, that I want to end. Uh, um, I know, controversial opinion, I know even some diehard Halloween fans want it to end. I don't. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a blast with it. I am praying to the gods that we were going to be able to see the next installment of Halloween in October in theaters. Please, God, don't let 2020 completely blow, for the love of God. Um, I know. I, I, I heard uh, I heard Sean's answer, and he's a massive Halloween fan. He kind of wants it mm -hmm. to see the end. But I don't. But I guess if you had to put a gun to my head and if I had to choose something... Probably the Jeepers Creepers, and the only reason I'm remembering this is because I think I saw an article today. I think you told me about Before it. Before being in production. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of those movies. Nor am I. My, and that doesn't even. We're not even delving into the pedophile part of it. I those just, movies suck before. Well, before you know, he was he the pedophile when he made them. But those movies sucked before knowing that. I always hated Jeepers Creepers one. I thought that movie. Was I've heard shit. the guy playing him is really a nice guy. Yeah, but, the guy play who's the who plays the creeper is apparently a really cool dude. But other than that, I. I have nothing positive to say about this franchise. I don't think it's a good franchise. I don't have anything positive to say about the creator. And Justin Long is an annoying actor. Uh, you know, so that that is for who I, I'd like to, you know, to bring to a stop. As for what I would like to see come back with a big bang, really, I would love to get a sequel to Leatherface. No, not the third Leatherface, the last actual Leatherface we got. And I know that's kind of controversial in the horror community because I know a, a few people said they liked it, but most people People didn't care for it. Mm -hmm. Most people, it made. I think way was the. I think we were the only ones that had it on our best list. That out year. of the out of our community, yeah, I think uh. we were the only ones who really liked Leatherface. But which we still really like Leatherface. Yeah. That's one of the choices we stand by. That movie's awesome. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, and I'd love to get a sequel. I'd love to go back into that family. I was really digging it. I think there's more to go for. Um, and 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 you really can't go wrong with Texas Chainsaw. Well. Except for that one movie, you can't. 3D? Really, yeah, yeah, yeah. That timeline still hurts my head. But not you, even the timeline, just that movie. But itself. the timeline, Sparky. Okay, the the time timeline. Line, the timeline is more fucked. Than she that would one. have to have. Oh God. No, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. Just look at our old ass chainsaw. <laughs> God, that hurt video. my head. But yeah, but 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 most of the time you don't fail with it. Even even the ones that you know are a little less stellar than others. Like uh uh. Four. Four isn't. I mean, it's campy four, fun. Uh, four 
fun revisit that we did this October, thanks to Brad, was a lot more enjoyable than I remember it being. Yeah, it still would be in my lower end. Like, th three is one of my favorites after the original, and then Leatherface. Both Leatherfaces mm -hmm. would make my top three list. But, uh, yeah, it, it's not too bad. So I think that, you know, especially, and I'd love to see the one writer come back and do mm -hmm. it, because he also did Hellfest. He correct? also wrote Hellfest. And yes. I really, I really like that guy. I think he has a, um, a lot of talent. So, yeah, I would say Leatherface. I'd love to see the sequel to Leatherface come out, or just any sort of Texas A new chainsaw, chainsaw movie. Yeah, and I hope the Halloween doesn't want. Like, after we get, because you know it says Halloween ends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally gonna happen. still a terrible title. Oh, shut up. Funny <laughs> you say that, because I want the Halloween franchise dead. Oh, I do, I'm so <laughs> tired of this franchise. <laughs> like, the, the, like, I was already not crazy about the franchise to begin with. It would be in the lower end of my favorite slasher franchise, but I didn't have an active disdain for it. Since doing the horror channel and finding out how mu how much people leech off this franchise for, uh, yeah, for there are some people who are oh, there are plenty of people who are big fans of it but certain channels we all know who we're talking about who leech off the franchise for views and you know all that I I'm, I'm a little sick of the franchise I don't think it deserves all that uh, you but know 2018 was okay. so good Sparky. and when I say I wish it would end I honestly think 2018 would have been a fine way to end I don't think but that, Anthony Michael Hall I don't think Halloween kill yeah kills and ends, which are still some of the worst titles I've ever heard for move for sequels. Um, I don't think we need them. I think 2018 was a perfect way to end the franchise. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not all that controversial opinion. I'm not super jazzed for Halloween kills or ends. It'll, I'm sure there'll be good movies, but till I'm in the theater. Or you know, watching on Voodoo or something, I'm not really going to be all that jazzed for it. Where I am literally down on my knees praying to the She's spirits and gods to please. Like, like this year has not been good, I don't think. for 2020 has not been a great year for Can most Can we get people. a refund on 2020? You know, like, 2020 just did, and it's not just us. I haven't heard anyone say that this has been a stellar year, but I am down on my knees every night going, please, God, all I want is one good thing. Please just let me have it. Halloween kills and don't let it suck. Yay! And Anthony Michael Hall's gonna be in it. I wanna see this in the theater, God. I wanna see it in the theater. Yeah. yeah you know, you I, know. I'm very I could be praying for world peace, but no, I'm, I'm praying for it. Whereas a movie. I'm like, eh. If it gets put on digital, it gets put on digital. I'm whatever. But that's just because I'm not a big Halloween fan. Uh, for a series I'd like to come back, I was going to say Chainsaw. And there are a few others. Like, I'm a massive Phantasm fan. But personally, I think Ravenger is actually a great place to put an end to the franchise. I know Coscarelli has said if he ever did another one, he'd want Tony Todd to be the tall man. Which is a fucking genius casting choice. Yeah. But as, the franchise, but as it is, I think Ravenger was a good place to end the franchise. Um, but looking at it, I think the only other one that I'd like to see come back, and it is coming back apparently, at least there are rumors of it, is I want a new Evil Dead movie. I want a new Evil Dead movie, either a sequel to the remake, which would be fucking awesome, or a sequel to Army of Darkness or Ash vs. Evil Dead or whatever, do, or can keep the Evil Dead tradition alive and do a whole new timeline that's just a remake of one again. <laughs> um, but yeah, don't even you don't even have to have Bruce Campbell in it. Like, if you do a previous timeline, I think that would be like ideal. But I know he said he's kind of putting the role on on a shelf. But I knew no Raimi says he's looking for a new director for four. So who knows? But I think honestly, I don't. I think I would want to see a sequel to the remake. I would want to see Evil Dead Four, or Evil Dead Two, re remake to. I'm, this, this, okay, this is another one that's confusing as all fuck, but yeah. I'd like to see any Evil Dead movie, but preferably I'd like to see a sequel to the remake. I think the remake is very underappreciated. I love the hell out of it, and I think there's a lot of cool stuff you could have done, and I think our main character, I think the actress says she would still be down for it. So yeah, I want to see a sequel to the remake. You know, I just thought of another one, and I hesitate to put I hesitate to put this out in the world, because admittedly, this, this could go one of two ways, like if they did reboot the franchise. Am I looking at a poster of it? Yeah, you are. God damn it. Um, because, be, be, because, one, you could argue the, the main character of the series is dead, and I don't know if anybody could ever fill his shoes. But on the other hand, if we did do a reboot, I would love to do, like, a backstory and maybe take either the so backstory from three or even four. I don't care which. But, and, and, you know, you could make some movies but actually give the backstory, and that would be Psycho. Now, again... So I, what you're saying is you want Bates Motel, the TV series. No, no, not... No, I want... Movies and I'd like to. I don't know who we could. 
You know, Vincent D'Onofrio, strangely, would be kind of a good choice. Wouldn't he be a bit old to play child Norman Bates? Well, maybe, ch but older Norman Bates, you know. I, I don't know. I, that's such a weird fucking thing. I don't know. I think D'Onofrio could be good in something and that attached to it. You know, maybe the thought, the, the... What about Vince Vaughn? We could bring Vince Vaughn back. Uh, no, no. Uh, you know what? Actually, I could almost see Vince Vaughn not playing Bates again, but maybe playing, like, Bates' father or something. Yeah. Or, you know, something like that. I could see maybe bringing him back into the thing, because he says he does have, you know, feelings about the remake, and, I, you know. I would, and it isn't all his fault for why no, the remake blows. No. He doesn't... He wasn't a good choice for Bates, but he wasn't a bad... He, he did the best he, he could. He worked with the, what he could with the role. Um, but yeah, he, I, could, I guess. I don't know. I just feel like he'd probably just get a copy and paste of Bates Motel, the TV show or something. Uh, no, I, I I would like to do... I'd like to... And I'd, I, you'd really have to find the right actor that would, wouldn't do like... A, would do his own take on Norman Bates but still be respectful, which would be a very hard line to do. But I think it would be possible. And I'd like to maybe the first one to be like a prequel before we actually hit with the shower and Norman Bates. Because... Because if you'll remember, I'm a diehard uh, uh, psycho fan. In three, we got one backstory. In four, we got a completely different backstory. If you Personally, I'd like to go with three's backstory. And if you count Bates Motel, the TV movie from the '90s, you no, have you have a third backstory. In Bates Motel, the TV show. So, psycho so Norman Bates has four separate backstories you could go off of. Personally, I would love to go with three's backstory, where where her sister Norman's aunt stole him when he was a baby because she was in love with his father. I think that would be a really fun little thing to go to. But again, like I said, I, hesit I hesitate to put that out in the world because I think that could, it could blow really that hard. That could fuck it. It I, could blow up in I your face. I think that's but, more of a case of it's going to fucking be a but trash under the, fire. But, but under the right circumstances and if you got the right actors, it could also be pretty fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Give a whole I, new generation the I experience. suppose. I think Psycho is one of those franchises that just better left de uh, off dead, you know. And I get that, but I'd also like to see a, you know, their generation really, you know, have. Yeah, they kind of had that with Bates Motel. That show was somewhat decent. I suppose. So, what's the next question? Uh, what's something people don't know about you that you don't talk about much? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I I love I love doing yard work. <laughs> no, seriously, I have discovered I love uh, the push mower thing. Yeah, you. Like Christian has to start it for me because um, string and stuff. I don't know. I don't know the mechanical side. I just, it's like, I get so jazzed. Like, I'm going to go out this uh, afternoon probably and like, because we have like acres of land and it's just so fucking satisfying seeing like all this weeds and then you just kill them and then it's all nice and flat and my yard looks beautiful. I did not discover this about myself till very recently, but I fucking love lawn mowing. And I don't do one of those pussy sit lawnmowers. I do the push pull because it feels more I feel more accomplished that way. Plus it burns a lot of calories. So it's you're getting your cardio and you're getting your prettification of lawns. So yeah. Um <laughs> Weirdly both of ours involve lawn. <laughs> Um, so this is a weird fucking thing that I've never talked about before. I've been run over by three separate tractors. Or no, it's the same tractor every time. But I've been run over by a tractor three times. The first one you were... The first time I was like, Okay, so very long story. Uh, like she said, a lot of acres on the land. Old ass fucking tractor. For some reason I was a stupid kid that liked riding on the side of it. it it's a long story, but blah blah blah. Uh, tractor jolted. I fell off. Got run over. Uh... Uh, forgot about it, did it again, jolted, fell off, got run over. Neither times were super serious. Like, when I say run over, I more got, f I, I got fucking Pushed knocked off. off. Except for the third time. The third time I actually did get run over. Um, the third time, uh, didn't see a tree branch, boop, I get, uh, I get fucking thrown off. Underneath the plow behind it, I actually have like a decent little mark on my, on my thigh on this leg from the plow stabbing me repeatedly with it. Almost broke my leg. By the way, I've also lo almost lost both my legs. <laughs> I've had a lot of bodily damage happen to me, weirdly. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I've, um, I've I've been run over by a tractor three times and nearly lost both my legs. Yes, and this was all his grandfather's fault because he was with you. <laughs> the, the, don't uh, look at me as a bad mother. This was his grandfather's fault. Uh huh. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, where did the other leg wasn't because of well, it wasn't because of tractor. That was because of glass panes. Oh yeah, you fell through the window. I, I didn't fall through a window. Well, I the door. 
Th yeah, I fell through a glass door. Don't ask how the fuck that happened. You were and bleeding. And I fucking sliced my leg almost completely off. Yeah, Christian's had an interesting little life. Yeah, yeah, my father's seen some weird shit. That's why I fucking, like, actually, if you see me in real life, that's why I actually, like, slouch a lot and actually kind of hobble a little bit. I need a cane. I need <laughs> to make me, like, a big-ass fucking pimp cane. Yeah, you do. A really cool one. So, uh, yeah! So, yeah. So that got weird. T uh, tractors and lawn care and then... Psycho and sequels. Psycho sequels. And though that, was that all the questions? That was all the questions. Very interesting questions. You got some, I hopefully you got some interesting answers and again congratulations because 300 is a yeah it's it's a good start it's a really good start and you're gonna just keep going up dude and congratulations i always enjoy uh talking to you on facebook it's i like your content and just congratulations a big hug congratulations yeah. big hug congratulations so thank you and like i said these were very fun questions to answer you came up with some good ones so not only are you a great youtuber you're a great question contester asker thing yeah person yeah question asker what did I just say? I'm just gonna leave you hanging <laughs> with this. Um, question per wait, question taker. Anyway, contest the a contest person. Sure, we'll leave it there. Um, but anyway, as always, booze and ghouls. If you haven't subscribed over to Evil Stevels, definitely there'll be a link down below. Definitely go click that link and go sub because awesome content. You're missing out if you don't sub. I feel that most people sub. Probably. And uh, yeah, so go do that. And while you're, but before you do, if you're around here and you're new around here and you like the contents of this channel, hit that subscriber button because we appreciate every subscriber we get. And with that, we wish you a good day, a good evening, and congratulations again, Steve. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye, guys.